the GSL CODES Group A. All right, oops, in the top right. <laughs> MVP Tails, Kim won -hyun. I was just really kind of thinking deeply of uh, if, if Byung is going to win this and whatnot. <laughs> Onto the bottom left in red are Taryn, one of four. CJN to Spion, Jung Woo Wait, I know that's also normally Tasis' thing to do the intros. And I, uh, indeed. With you, I end up, you end up doing the first one, I do the second one, which is what I do with Brendan at Pro League. Yeah. And maybe, yeah. like, you've also picked up on that from yeah. watching Pro League, I'm not sure. Certainly, but <laughs> certainly. <laughs> anyway. Whenever Tasis isn't around, I just start to host more. That's just the way I do it. Um, we're good. Anyways, I mean, looks like it's going to be a Reaper opening here from Byung. I thought he might try to do one of these gas first builds with uh, the contain at the Nexus or... Oh, you mean like the bunker and the you get the and, and like the one Hellion or sometimes two Hellions. Yeah, yeah. One of those builds I the thought he might... The stuff that Maru does quite often yeah. recently. Maru TY has done it like once or twice. Yeah, yeah. I thought he might do something like that. Because um, the map for that is, is okay too, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I guess you could do that. Here. Habitation Station ends up being a much better map for that, though, which is another reason why I thought mm. he might pick it. Well, I think, again, against Tails, he's more concerned with what is Tails going to do rather than doing damage to Tails. So a Reaper opening, I think, is pretty solid. Get up there, see how many gases do you have, are all your pylons in your base, when are you taking your Nexus. Reaper's going to be able to tell him these things, and possibly, if he gets in just right, uh, what tech route is coming. Wow, he's chrono boosting the Zealot, okay. So, could be having like the two Zealot, one Stalker type of attack. Yeah. Uh, Maybe Mothership Core in there. It doesn't cancel it. So, oh. Or a Zealot, two Stalker, sorry, whatever. <laughs> Whichever, um, however you like it. Yeah. Hold the sauce, or Tosis. I'm just surprised he chrono boosted Zealot and sent it across. Well, I mean, it. The thing is, it might actually delay the Reaper, but what's the point of that? Yeah, it could delay the if command center. If the Reaper center. doesn't see it, then it definitely can mess him up a bit. And yeah, the Reaper looks like it won't see it. Passing ships in the night. So that's... um. It delays a Nexus hmm. for delaying a command center, basically. Uh, is that, I think one way to look at it. Yeah, I guess. And uh, Zealot definitely... One Zealot's hard to micro against if you don't have your Reaper at home. I think he's going to go all the way in the main. I think he's just going to kill this SCP and start hitting on the command yeah, center. Yeah, I think that would be way better. Like, if you can slow the command center, it's fantastic. He so might actually go in to try to kill these first two yeah. Marines, though. And you know what? To be fair, this is already worth it. The sellout. Already worth it. Look at this. Lost mining time. Killed an SCV already. Killed two two. SCVs. Maybe three? Yep. Oh, Byung. Come on. That's disappointing. He also sent the Reaper back. And didn't even really end up being useful, so he's losing more scouting time. He will eventually go see this Twilight Council, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. This, that was... I'm actually really disappointed those last two he lost. Like, the first one, I get it. But... And even the second one was, like, uh -oh. okay, but... He denies that scout, man. And that's a very fast Twilight Council coming in here. And he's he knows that the only way the Reaper can jump up on that is to go to the natural, because it's a double tier... Uh, you know, mm. the, there's two tierings yeah. of jumping, so... He knew the exact place to go to deny the Reaper scout. He pulls the Reaper back with the Zealot. This is a Tails build, and it's really starting to feel like it. Now, I think the Reaper will get in this time. Although, he, I, he's getting a Stalker over here. He might actually stop this Reaper from scouting this. He's got the Mothership Core and that Stalker in such a great spot for it. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see. He's trying to get up. Oh, and, no, well, he's going to see it. Yeah. So, that's actually very useful that he gets to see it. He, is, he saw it last game as well. <laughs> True. Uh, that was a really cool idea, though. I think the Zealot is part of this whole thing. It's part of the plan. Sure. Uh, get the Reaper back home. Yeah. That type of thing. I think so. Uh, you shouldn't end up killing three SCVs, but that's worth it already. But getting the Reaper to go back home if you're going to follow up with like a very strong rush is very nice. It's just for the map, you know, with that the way it had, the Reaper has to jump into the main yeah, base. Yeah. Losing that Stalker really hurts because now he literally yeah. has a Mothership Core. That's all he's got. Yeah, he's going to have to use it, of course. Uh, now, if he checks for the third, that's going to be awesome for him. Uh, by the way, yeah, this is this is kind of a cool new build that we're seeing a lot, where you get quick and custom shells and move out with exactly that little army that you just saw. There are a handful of Marines and one Marauder, because if you catch any unit on the map, you kill it. 
Yeah. You just stutter step forward with the concussive shells and it dies. So, like, there have been games where we've seen them catch two stalkers with that, and it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you also have that line <laughs> of sight blocker to work with, the stalker is, like, dead 100%. Mm. Uh, okay, so he, let's, let's go over this a bit, right? He saw the Twilight. He went up for some other ship cannon. Hasn't seen the third base, though. Third base, but he's not even... making bunkers either. So he's like, he's just saying, okay, I have enough. It's fine, but, huh? I don't think he's gonna cancel that nexus. But if he did, he'd have so many more resources to actually do an all-in with. Yeah. But I don't think that's his plan here. No, I mean, this is gonna keep uh, Byung at home for now while he gets that third base a little bit more saturated and gets his economy really going. He's got a lot of resources to warp in stalkers here too. He's gonna move four more. Now, if he moves out against this and gets caught without stim. I mean, obviously, you can fight with that group of Stalkers there when he's on the high ground, but if he went down the low ground, that would have been not a good place to fight. Oh, this uh, base is found. He has to pull probes for a second. Oh, that's one. Well, there's a time warp that goes on. He lost his Mothership Core. That hurts. That's a bit sloppy. Because wow. with the Mothership Core, he can actually take a fight there off, uh, you know, like I said before, not fighting up uh, on, up that ramp, but on the middle of the ground. Well, just being able to see uh, the high ground and, you know, have that time warp, you might be able to get something done. But as is, uh, Byung has a very scary army here. Going to be pretty hard to actually stop that. You know, right now, Tails has been very greedy. He's lost his Mothership Corps. He went blank, only made a handful of stalkers, didn't really do any damage. He's getting four gates all at once and charge right now. So, I mean, these, these units with some micro, with their stem, it's going to be pretty scary. Yeah, he's going to try to delay with the Stalkers. If he stims to chase the Stalkers, it's a huge mistake, right? So it's kind of hard to maneuver that. Yeah, he's got to just allow his uh, Marauder to steal as much damage as possible and just take whatever shots get hit. It's hit really out. hurtful. The Mothership Core is gone here, and now he's going to go ahead and target down this base after he kills that Sentry. He's actually just going to go for probes, which I totally respect. But he's going to have to stim a oh, second he's time. Gonna, he's very low. He's going to kill this Nexus. I think he should be able to, right? Yeah, but, for sure. But at what cost? I think he's going to lose this entire army. He will eventually, but like I think he's already done so much damage that it's fine. He's He killed that Mothership Core, which allowed him to do all this. He's actually ended up killing off a good amount of units, some sentries, all those probes, the Nexus. Now he's killing off yeah. some Stalkers. I don't know. Totally fine with all this. Yeah, I don't he's know. Got, 50, 50 SCVs against a two base Protoss with 33 probes. Uh, the handling there from Tails isn't the best either, but I mean, a tough situation for sure. Mm. Uh, charge wasn't done yet. Well, the fact that he lost the Mothership Core is unforgivable. You cannot lose your Mothership Core when you're doing something so greedy. The only reason you can even do something this greedy is because of the Mothership Core. Yeah. So, definitely well, this, paid for it there. This Marine is trying to do some special ops tactics over there, but only gets one pro. Well, I mean, I, I there's like no all-in timing that can work here. I think that... Mm. He has to fight back. There's no way that he can try to just retake a third base and be like, oh, well, that's unfortunate that I wasn't mining for that long. So he basically has to try to swing the hammer here, but I think the handle is broken, Artos is... Yeah, this... He's gonna try to swing a hammer to... Turns out his hammer's a, a toy mallet. Oh, okay. I was going to say he's going to try to hammer in a screw. Then I'm like, actually, you could do that. Yeah, that, that's so But that's not going to happen here. <laughs> like, yeah, he has charge and he has blink. But, uh, you know, he has no actual forge upgrades. He's going to be fighting against what is soon to be a 1-1 Terran army. Has medevac, stim, combat shields. Like, this is this is a bunch of vanilla gateway units, man. Like, well, he catches some of this army out here. That is quite and nice. And charge is done. He's not using it for some reason. There he goes. And you watch him just win now. <laughs> I don't think so. There's a bunker yeah, set up here. Quite surprised, but here we go. He's charging up with those zealots. Nice micro here by Byung. Did get caught off guard, as you said, a little bit. Yeah, all he has to do is but micro here, and he's fine. Yeah. Sensor tower goes down, but... When medevacs are out, you really need a little bit more, especially when you're down, like, right about now. He's two upgrades down now. That's so rough. Down 20, S 20 probes uh, to 58 SCVs. Yeah, it's just pure zealot uh, stalker with no guardian shield, mm. no force fields. Yeah, this is like a very weak army. SCV's being pulled at the moment. You just because he knows all he has to do is hold. Us. Yeah. Yeah. And he has held. It's over. May as well send those SCVs back to mine, because uh, at this point, look at that, those supply. GG. Oh, those supply. Wow, my English is so bad this game. Look at those okay. supply. Yes. 
Uh, Bjorn kind of rolling through uh, Tails there. So, don't lose hope yet, Terrence. Bjorn definitely still has his chances here. Where does Tails want to play this last game? Mm, I, uh, I might say Frost. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I think Frost. Uh, I think Way Station would be a funny and for Tails, okay choice. I feel like uh, Frost is the choice because I think he's going to try to keep his tech hidden again for a little while um, and just try to keep Young guessing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the best map for that. Remember any Let's other two-player map we have? Frost. Alrighty. So, uh, you know, big map. Young can't be too upset. Probably figure this is going to be it. Yeah, good decider, no, I, I think. I think uh, for Byung's style too, this map is pretty good. Well, I think we're going to see that Widow Mine push again on uh, three bases, assuming Tails can try to kill Byung before that, and we end up in a funky game just like the game before. Mm. Uh, I don't think he's going to go for the concussive shell opening again either because it is a pretty big map. Yeah, can't really get a whole <laughs> lot done with that. All right, we'll see. You think there's any chance to do a tech opening? Set of Reaper? Not on this map. Yeah, too far away. So. Takes too long. Could be the last thing that Tails expects. Like sometimes you get a win against a player who's so gateway focused, so aggressive with like even cloak vantage or something because you never see it. But yeah. Byung is just not the type to do that in a game three. That's quite a tightrope walk as well if it is something aggressive from the Protoss. No, this is the last game of our winners match. Game number three between Tails and Byung. One of these two is going down to Kode. The other. Move on to our final match against Dark. This is the GSL Codes.